Y'all, you are not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. I'm wearing a dress. Like, Jen doesn't wear dresses. <laughs> I'm wearing a dress. Let me show you my dress. I'm so excited. I got this from Express. Look how cute it is. Yes, look as flowy. I'm so excited. I have, I, it's been a thing for a long time of me not wearing dresses and I'm branching out. And I figured for today's video, I would try to do a look that matches how pretty I feel <laughs> in this freaking dress. I'm gonna use all products that are pretty new to me. Some of them brand new, some of them I've used just a couple of times. You're gonna see everything go on. I'll show you how it looks in outdoor light. And then we're gonna do a full on wear test. I'll come back at the end of the day and tell you how everything worked. You can see everything in action. So if you wanna try some new makeup, hang tight. We're jumping into it right now. I haven't done a video like this in so long where I just sat down and we just played with makeup together because that's just pure freaking joy. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. All right, right back. Okay, how's that looking? Are we zoomed in enough? Are we looking good? Let me turn this mirror on. It's gonna blind me. Ah, oh, it's so bright. Eee, eee. Okay, that is much better. <laughs> People ask me all the time what mirror I use. This is the Ilios mirror. It was actually sent to me because Makeup by Mario hooked me up with somebody that he knows that makes these things. And it's a freaking fabulous mirror. They do have sales occasionally. If you can catch one, highly recommend because they are pricey, but it is a fabulous mirror. As you know, because I can't shut up about it, I just got back from that creators and friends trip. So some of the stuff is going to be products that I got there, like these little clips. I have never used little clips to hold my hair back. For putting on makeup, I usually use my bare ears, but you know what? We're trying different things today. I was helping Simbri, who was one of the organizers, and Hannah Louise Post and set up, and we opened up the box of all of the ColourPop clips, and we were like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of clips. <laughs> they sent so many of them over, so I figure might as well try them, might as well use them. That's actually quite cute. I'm not hating that. Just started getting a couple of things from Smashbox and PR, so this is brand new to me. It's not brand new, but brand new to me. This is the Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer, and I have been really into the glowy primers lately, especially when paired with a more matte foundation, and if it ends up too glowy, I usually just end up powdering it, and then it's fine. So I want to very curious, like how glowy is this Illuminate primer? We're gonna find out. Okay, so it is, I don't know if that's gonna be too much, we will see, but it doesn't look super glowy from there. It definitely looks pretty thick. And I'm just gonna bloop bloop. It feels like a moisturizer. It feels very light on the skin. My face and my hands look glowy, but they don't look sparkly. I don't see any kind of sparkles in here. There may be a slight shimmer, which I don't hate. Let's go ahead and put on the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. ColourPop did like a masterclass kind of situation where they taught us how to do like a bridal look. And they asked us to pick our shades before we came, just based on the website. So they gave us, I think, two of them. And I was looking at them and I don't know. And I looked up at Kelsey, Brianna, J, and I was like, which one? do I pick? And she was like, that one. So this is the shade Light 60N is what Kelsey picked for me and I'm very thankful. A lot comes out on one pump and you can see it is kind of a medium viscosity to maybe just a little bit thin. I may not use all of this because that is a lot. That is a lot on one pump. So now I know <laughs> do not use an entire pump because that is a little too much and I'm not trying to be all cakey. I'm gonna be wasting about half of this and I'm not happy about it. So with one pump, with one pump, I have this much left on my hand, which is obnoxious. So now I know, don't push all the way down. BK Beauty gave us quite a few brushes. So this is the 101 brush. It's a face brush that's angled, which I really like this style of brush. I have it from a couple of different brands. Uh, this It reminds me kind of of the Sigma Multitasker, which is one of my favorite brushes of all time. I love the way this is smoothing everything out. It looks really pretty. Look at that. That's beautiful. We're getting a nice medium coverage. That's really pretty. We'll see how it wears though, because sometimes it can look really pretty off the jump and then like six hours in you're like, Ugh, and it looks like complete doo-doo. So we will see how it lasts. So far so good though. In hindsight, I probably should have should have just left my skin bare on one side with no primer, just to you know kind of test against no primer, but 
I'm not starting over. I love you, but I'm not starting over. <laughs> if I have any other information to share with you about these products, because a lot of these are kind of first impression-y, I will definitely let you know in Favorites and Fails Countdown, which will be in a couple of weeks. But so far, so good. I think that that is super, super pretty. Next up, I also just started getting a couple things from Physicians Formula. This is their Butter Glow Concealer, and it is in the shade light to medium. It's got this little blendy sponge up here. I've used it, I think, twice so far, so it's getting a little bit dirty. We'll try to use it and see how it goes. It's just like a regular doe foot, and then you're supposed to blend it with a little spongy guy. Spongy guy's kind of hard. And we'll just start there. Maybe we'll do a little boop, 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 and a little boop, 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 and maybe a little boop there. Maybe a little boop over here too, why not? And we will start with using this. I may abandon it though. <laughs> I like my brushes, like, it's just hard. I look like I have a beard. That is not the intention. Yeah, not happening. I'm just gonna go like this and blend with this brush a little bit. I don't think I have the patience to blend with this teeny tiny hard sponge. I'm gonna use this BK Beauty brush. This is uh, number 113. I don't know what the purposes are for any of these things. I'm just kind of going with it. The In the ColourPop tutorial, she put like an exclamation point down the nose and she let it sit there for like 10 minutes before she blended it. I don't really know what the purpose was for that. You'll have to tell me if you know why someone would let concealer dry that long before you blend it. Maybe it like is for more impact or whatever. I should have asked her, but I spaced out and forgot. It's funny how I still kind of do the... 2016 triangle a little bit. I just don't draw the triangle. I just blend in the triangle shape. <laughs> I feel like that looks pretty nice. We'll have to see whether it creases or not and give it a couple minutes and see. I like the way that looks. It's giving a little bit of coverage and a little bit of brightening. For eye primer, just got this from Essence. This is the Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Base. So I'll show you. It is, it's white to come out. Let me just kind of show you. It's very silicone-y feeling, and it doesn't look like there's any kind of pigment there at all. So I'm gonna use this on one side and do what I should have done with the face primer and use a different primer on the other side that I already know works great for me. I'm gonna use the Milani Eye Primer because I feel like it doesn't cover up discoloration just like the Essence one doesn't. So I feel like this will be pretty comparable as far as how the eyeshadow lays on top of it. I realize I don't have any new brow products in my life, so I'm just gonna use one that I know works for me. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow paired up with the Fluff Up Brow Wax. And I'm just gonna kinda zip through that real quick. So we got this palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. And I will tell you, Unearthly is not on my radar. <laughs> like never has been. I've heard of it here and there, but never been on my radar. Uh, this palette was really fun to play with. I only used it one time when we were on the trip. I think it was the very last day had so much fun playing with it. I don't feel like this goes like with my very calm top. So I'm also going to use, I'm gonna set it up with the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop, which was also part of the trip and kind of get a nice base down and then use just a couple of the shades in here. Let's check the concealer. We are getting a, ooh, ooh. Creasing, crease alert, crease alert. That is pretty typical for me to just have to blend it out one time afterward. So we'll see if I have to blend again later. I'm gonna pop into Act of Full. I love these mauve tones. They are so pretty. I'm gonna pop into some of my Singe Beauty brushes that I purchased, but am absolutely loving. We're gonna go a little bit deeper, and I am actually going to do what Angie Newquist taught me. She's the owner of Singe Beauty. Let me just start from the beginning. So we're all doing our makeup, like trying to look like 
do what the um the artist did or whatever from ColourPop. And I just hear from outside, I'm inside at the table in the kitchen and there's this door that leads to outside. And Tina from the fancy face is like, she looks at me, she's like, Jen, let me see. And I turn around and she's like, more eyeshadow. You gotta get more, more, deeper, do more. And I was like, I don't know how to do more. So Angie comes over to the rescue and she's like, she's like, let me show you. And she just grabs my brushes that I have and she starts stabbing me in my eyeball. <laughs> And my lips is just like, and like stabbing me and it didn't hurt or anything, but it was definitely more aggressive than I'm used to doing on my eyes. <laughs> so in honor of Angie, I am going to make this a little deeper than I normally do. I feel like I got a little too aggressive. I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like I need something a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go into this guy over here. Uh, all for you. It's all for you. Sorry, Janet. I'm so sorry to butcher your song. <laughs> we did karaoke while we were there. I did not do karaoke. I sat on the couch and I sang along because I knew all of the songs, but I am not getting on a microphone. You do not want that. I feel like Angie would tell me to go even deeper in the outer corner. So we're gonna do that. And I am going to just, let's see. We're gonna take this smaller one and I'm gonna go in even deeper just right here and stab the shit out of my eye. <laughs> Angie, it's your fault. If I lose my eyeball, Angie is paying my medical bills. I feel like I'm losing like the lighter colors as I stab the deeper colors in. Like I'm, I'm losing my contrast and I do not like that. It's just something I'm gonna have to play with a little bit more. And I know some of you all are so good at makeup. So if you have any tips for what you see I'm doing and you're like, oh, you know, you should have done this, you should have done that, please feel free to leave them. I am so open to learning from you. All right, I'm just gonna kind of blue, blue, blue on the sides so it doesn't go so low. I think that's where I'm gonna stop that. Let me blend just a little bit more. And watch, Angie's gonna watch this and she's like, Jen, you didn't go deep enough. <laughs> what I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade and just lighten up in here. Just kind of slap that on. I'll blend it, don't worry, I'm not leaving it like this. Just to brighten up the inner corner, I've really been enjoying that. I got that holiday palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles that they sent me and ever since then I'm like obsessed with just really brightening my inner corner. I think it looks so pretty. So now I've set up something natural, I'm gonna go ahead into the Unearthly Cosmetics palette and we are going to use my favorite shade in here, which is Luminescence. Oh my gosh, it is freaking gorgeous. And it is just going right here. Yes, bish, yes. <gasps> oh, I love it so much. It's so pretty. Now, Angie said that she doesn't carry her shimmery shades all the way over to the outer corner, that she just goes from the inner corner to like two thirds of the way in. So I'm gonna try that. I tried to swatch these in live chat last week and they look like complete shit. <laughs> I felt so bad, like poor unearthly cosmetics. They're like, no, Jen, don't make our swatches look like shit. It was my fault. I just didn't swatch them very well. But I do feel like, honestly, I feel like the shimmers are, they're very thin. Thin. They're not super opaque. So in a swatch, they just look like crap. But when you pack them onto the lid, they're so pretty. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on to make sure I have the opacity that I want, but oh, so pretty. Yes. In person, it's stunning. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but we're gonna take this outside so that you can really see it. I just grabbed this angled liner brush. Of, this is from the Shrek Makeup Revolution collection of all random things. And I'm gonna use this shade Sea Urchin on my lower lash line. And I feel like that's as much as I can do with this because these are like so bold and I really don't want a super bold look today other than like the duochrome action I got going on. I'm gonna use again the shade Full Expose, which was the one I used in the inner corner and just kind of finish up the lower lash line. Put a little bit extra in that inner corner just to make sure I'm nice and bright. I don't have any new liquid liners in my life, but I do have new pencil liners. These are the new reformulated ColourPop pencil liners. So I'm just gonna play with one of those. Um, should we do, what about, you probably won't even be able to see it because I'm gonna put on lashes, but we'll play anyway. This is a dark brown called Brouhaha. Well, we're just gonna use that one. That'll work. And 
And I'm just going to do a teeny tiny wing because big wings with a pencil liner look really stupid on me. I just can't do it. It just looks weird because it's just not, it's not as sharp as a liquid liner can get for me. I know a lot of people would smudge this out, but I'm not really a smudgy liner kind of person. It's not something that I've played with enough that I feel confident like doing it on camera and just being like, hey, look, I can do this. That looks really pretty actually. I really like that shade with this look. For mascara, I've had this for a minute. I'm not 100% sure if I've showed you this or not, but this is the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara. I feel like I have showed this to you, but I don't know, I can't remember. It's a decent mascara, it's fine. It's nothing like, oh my gosh, you have to go out and buy this, but it's nice. I do like the plastic wand and I like that it's like Christmas tree shaped. It just makes it easy to get in there. And I've realized lately that I feel like I have less lashes than I ever have in my entire life. And I think part of the reason is because I've been wearing fake lashes so much. I feel like, oh, look at that. That was not good. As I was saying, I think that because I've been wearing fake lashes so much, I've pulled out so many of my natural lashes. And uh, yeah, you can tell. I can tell at least. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell. Do one more coat. Oh gosh, really Jen? Really, for reals? <sighs> oh, it came off really easily. Up here I still have a little bit. Oh, I don't wanna take off all my eyeshadow. No, it's too much work. See if I can fix it without messing it up. Can I make it match? I had all those layers. Hmm, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna notice but me and you, right? Like in real life, nobody's gonna notice. I think this is coming out so pretty. Okay, next up, Sigma just came out with cream blushes and they actually sent these to me before I went on the trip and then I got new ones. So this has just turned into a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a bunch of stuff that I need to get rid of. So I don't know how many winners I'm gonna pick, but it's gonna be like Sigma stuff and ColourPop stuff. Uh, I have so much stuff I wanna give away. So if you win, we'll just chat about what you want. I'll tell you what I got. You could tell me what you want and then I'll just send you stuff. Maybe we'll do three winners. That sounds good to me. I think three winners will be good, but we'll chat when you win. Uh, I do it through an email. It's Jen Loves Giveaway. Jen, it's either Jen Love Giveaway or Jen Loves Giveaway. I'm putting it on the screen. I don't use the email for anything else. I don't send you email. It's not an email list. It's literally just so I can tell you you won and so that we can communicate about what you want. So all the rules and everything and everything you need to know will be in the description box. I'm gonna use the Sigma F53 Air Brush to apply this. And this seems to be the shade that everyone's kind of dying over. It's Corda Rosa, but it's not super coral. It looks really peach on camera. But in person, it's definitely more mauve -y. I don't know if it's just my camera and then I'll color correct in post, but like in my monitor, it looks really peach. It's really not like that in person. That is going on beautifully. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. And this brush really does pick up the product so nicely because it's like a stipply. We haven't really talked much about stipply brushes in a very long time, at least in my sphere. But I really love stipply brushes for, uh, for, cream products, or cream blushes especially. It looks like enough to me in my lighting. I don't know if it looks enough in the camera. Okay, for highlight, I really wanna try this. I opened it up and my friend, it did not make it home in travel. This is my fault though. It is broken. It did not, it was not like this when I got it. It's just like it now because that's what happened when I was trying to bring it home. So I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of this. It's very loud and green. So I don't know if this is a good choice, probably not, but we'll we'll go with it anyway because we're just having fun here and it's really not that serious. Some people I feel like take this stuff so incredibly serious as far as that doesn't match, that doesn't match. So I don't feel like this highlighter is laying very nicely over the blush. It just looks kind of chunky, which might be some people's jam. Not my jam, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna play with it more though, cause maybe it's just, it's not laying pretty over the cream blush. For lipstick, I have tried the BK Beauty lipsticks and I love them. We are going to try this new shade. This one is called, I think it says Inner Beauty. We're gonna go ahead and put this on and see how it looks. I think it's gonna match my dress really pretty. And it does. Ooh, I like it. 
BK Beauty lipsticks feel like a lip balm, but they have the pigmentation of a lipstick. They're extremely creamy, extremely comfortable. And I also like that there's the magnetic closure here. You have to be careful with those in your purse because they can open up in your purse. But I personally really like, I think it feels nice, the magnetic closure. It feels very heavy and very luxe. I had these before, but I have not tried them yet. I'm very excited because my roommate, Linda from Glitter Fallout, these are her favorite of the Risa Does Makeup collab with BK Beauty. These are in the style martini and everybody's talking about how much they love these i have never tried this style before and i am so excited they were also kind enough to give us some uh, kiss lash adhesive which i had never tried before and seems very nice i did use it on the trip and really enjoyed using it it was very effective i didn't see any difference between that and other lash glues that i like but i was happy that it worked that's all I care about is I just want it to work. I was using, there's a, a lash adhesive from House of Lashes that I used to use. That stuff, I swear, it would like rip the skin off my eyeballs. <laughs> Not my eyeballs, you know what I'm saying? Off my eyelids and it was the most uncomfortable, like it worked. Don't get me wrong, it worked. It made my lashes stay on all day, like no joke, no lifting, anything, but man, was it painful to remove. It was actually my favorite for a little while, and then I was like, this is not necessary. This pain is not necessary. So then I just went back to Duo, but now, like, this one is really nice. You know what's funny is I don't think I've ever used Kiss Lashes in my entire life. I know I haven't used their lash glue before I got this one. They gave, like, one of those eyelash applicators. I can't use those freaking things. I have to use my fingers. I cannot, I can't have a tool coming at my eye. I don't know if that's just me, but I just can't. I can't do it. I have to just, like, gently just press it on with my fingers. Ooh, that's cute. I have to move it over a little bit before it dries. Go, 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 fast, fast, fast. I haven't worn a half lash in forever. That's really pretty. I think that um, because my lashes are so wimpy, it looks a little weird. I think I used to be able to get away with half lashes more when I had more natural lashes. TBH, I don't think I like that just because my natural lashes cannot keep up. Let me see if I can add a little more mascara. It's really just looking clumpy. Like my natural lashes just look stupid next to it. Yeah, this is not, I don't know. You'll have to tell me if you think it looks okay. I think it looks really weird. We're gonna keep going though and we're gonna go with it because you know, I'm really just showing these to you and I'm going to my ukulele friends get together thing that I do every Tuesday. So they won't care. I wish I had more lashes. This this tells me that I need to uh, do something about this. Maybe do like some of the lash growth serum, but I'm scared of that stuff. I've heard so many horror stories about the lash growth serums that I'm like scared to use it. Like people saying that it like burned their eyes or like it made it so their vision was a little bit blurry temporarily, like weird stuff. So I don't know. Have you had good experience with the lash extension serums? Because I'm like honestly kind of scared to use them. All right, that's a little bit better, I guess. I don't know, what do you think? I would love to know your opinion because your opinion's important to me. All right, we're leaving it alone. Leave it alone, Jen, just stop. Stop doing what you're doing, it's too much. All right, are we done? Is this the end? This might be it. I don't know. I guess I should probably set it with some powder. This is new to me. This is the No Filter Setting Loose Translucent Powder by ColourPop. We're gonna try that. Okay, I'm just gonna set my under eyes because they are a little bit shiny and maybe my nose a little bit. I don't see any more creasing from the concealer. Oh, I do have a little bit of creasing from the concealer. Darn it, okay. Let's just kind of try to wiggle that out a little bit before we set it. Maybe setting it earlier would have stopped that from happening. See, I just, I just have to play with it a little bit and I haven't used that concealer very much. I'm just gonna kind of go up a little bit here and a little bit here. Woo! <laughs> Should have tapped the brush off as this day one. <laughs> That looks better. Now I look finished, I feel like. Bloop, bloop. All right, take this down. Zoop. We are done. And I think I look so cute. I really like this look a lot. Let's go ahead and zoom out right back. Okay, let me pull this down so it's out of our way. And yes, I am loving this. I think it's so cute and it does match my outfit and it makes me feel pretty. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I do. It's so cute. I love it. So now it is time. I'm gonna take you outside and we'll look at this in natural light and then we'll do a wear test. So hang tight, let's go outside. One, two, three. 
Okay, before I show the makeup, you have to see my cat. Hold on. Look how happy he is out here. He loves the spring. He's my little old man. He just turned 16 and he is just living his best kitty life. It is beautiful out. Okay, back to the makeup. So let me get in the sun. Ooh, look at that. It's so pretty. Don't you think it looks so pretty? I'm so excited. And I don't hate the lashes as much as I did before, but I still think they look weird. I don't know if I'm gonna ever do a half lash ever again, at least unless my natural lashes grow a little bit more. But I feel like it looks really pretty. I love the duochrome action. I love the lipstick. I love the cheeks. The foundation looks really good. Concealer still looks good. I mean, I just came up from downstairs. It's been like literally five minutes, probably not even that. So uh, yeah, so we will come back later on tonight. I might check in one more time. It just depends whether I have time or not, or I think about it, because I got a lot going on today. So uh, yeah, either way, we'll be back in just a minute. Ready? One, two, three. All right, my friend, I almost forgot to check in. Hopefully you can hear me and see me. Okay, so this is what's going on right now. Lipstick completely gone. Wear time, not good. Very creamy, balmy lipstick. Wear time, Pfft. I mean, and plus it wasn't like super like different than my lip color, which probably makes a difference, but it's really, really gone. Uh, bl highlight is definitely still there. Blush, maybe a little bit still there. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like when I get home. Eyeshadow still looks freaking amazing. Concealer, I don't see any creasing. That's good. Foundation still looks good. We're doing good. I'm about to go in and hang out with my friends and I will be back in just a minute for you. A second for you many hours for me at home for final thoughts, final wear test. Yes. One, two, three. Day is done. And so is my hair. This humidity is freaking killing me. My hair was so cute over the winter when it wasn't human out. And now it's like, I cannot to save my life, get my hair to hold a curl. I can't get, anyway, we're not here for that. Shut up, Jen. <laughs> we're here to talk about the makeup. So let's go ahead and zoom in and let's see how this makeup wore throughout the day. It is, I didn't even say what time it is. It is currently 1040 in the PM. Let's zoom in. Oh, now you can see it real good. You can see all of it so well. Woo, okay, let's, every dang time. <laughs> Every time, stop. Okay. First thing I notice is my under eyes look like doo-doo. It's not that there's, well, there is a little bit of creasing underneath here, just a little bit, but I feel like my fine lines are accentuated right now, like more so than earlier. Maybe it's because I'm tired. I don't know, but you have to tell me what you think. Does it look like my under eyes are more wrinkly than they were earlier? Let me know. I see a little bit of foundation caking up in my wrinkles up here. The under eyes could be the foundation as well. It could be the combo, the foundation and the concealer. We just don't know from this one test. With the foundation, I feel like I do still have some coverage there, which is nice, but I do feel like it's kind of settling into my pores a little bit. I'd be curious to try this over a different primer and see if that makes a difference. Uh, I don't think anybody would notice unless you were like right up in my face. So I don't hate it. I just don't love it. Like I talked about earlier, lipstick was way gone way early. It's just not that kind of lipstick that has a long lasting power. It's very comfy. You sacrifice the lasting power when you have a really comfortable lipstick a lot of times. Earlier when I was looking at my cheeks, I didn't see a lot of blush. I see more now than I did back then. I think it might have just been the lighting. I was looking at it in my friend's bathroom just a few minutes ago before I drove home, and I did see blush on my face. When it comes to the eyeshadow, I always have, whenever I have a shimmer shadow on my lid, it always transfers up to my brow bone. That is normal for me. But what I wanna mention, is that I do still have both the ColourPop shadow and the Unearthly shadow. Both still look pretty stinking good. The eyeliner still looks good. Lashes are still on. Go kiss lash glue. And overall, I feel like my eye look still looks pretty darn good for being an all day wear. I even still have a good bit of color on the lower lash line from using that eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Remember I had Unearthly on like the outside and then I had the ColourPop on the inside and I can still see both of them. 
I do have a tiny bit of flaking of mascara, just a little bit, but that might have been from me messing up my mascara. I'm not sure. Highlighter, definitely still see the highlighter. The highlighter is totally there. Like, it is there, like really, really there. I mean, overall, I feel like my look still looks pretty darn good considering the amount of time I've had it on. So let's go ahead and zoom out and I will give you some final thoughts on these products. So just very quick, let us summarize. The primer, I would love to try this with more products. Overall, I think it looks pretty on the skin on its own. I do feel like my foundation lasted a long time, but I definitely need to continue testing this. And of course I need to continue testing the foundation. I love the finish on this. It is so, so pretty. It's just a little more full coverage than the foundations that I've been wearing recently, but I don't hate it because it has a beautiful, beautiful finish. I'm concerned a little bit about the wear time, about kind of the accentuating of my fine lines, seeing it kind of settle into pores. So I'm going to keep playing with this, but so far, pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with this, actually. The concealer, this is not the first time I've used this. So far, I like it. I don't love it. I have had issues with this creasing in uh, in the past when I've used it. So uh, it's it's fine. <laughs> I do think that there are better concealers out there, but I don't, again, I don't dislike this. I like the color. I like the way it blends, uh, but I feel like this would probably work better for somebody that had less fine lines than I do. I forgot to mention about the Benefit brow products. I've talked about these forever. They're fabulous. My brows still look amazing. They're awesome. Eyeshadow wise, loving both of these so far. I mean, this ColourPop palette is kind of a typical nudie palette. <laughs> a lot of people probably have all these colors. If you do and you love them, you don't need this. But if you're in the market for an eyeshadow palette, this is the third time I've used this and really enjoying it so far. It's got tons of shades. So it really is gonna be about whether you like the color story or not. Performance so far has been fantastic for the shades that I've used. The Unearthly palette, I really wanna play with this more. I can definitely vouch for the shade that I used today because this is the second time that I've used it, but I don't feel like I've used this enough to really give it a full, hardcore review, and especially because it swatched so poorly on Sunday, I'm a little hesitant to say like full on, yes, you must have this. I wanna play with it more, and I will play with it more, I'm sure you will see this again in the favorites and fails uh, but so far so good especially the duochrome shades they are just freaking gorgeous but I want to play with the mattes a little more and I want to use this with other palettes I'm not done with this yet but so far so good the unearthly highlighter it is just kind of different <laughs> in that the shade is, you know, they're they're kind of loud, they're they're glittery, they're they're chunky, but lasting power is fantastic. So if you like that kind of highlighter, yeah, definitely go for it. This is again the second time I've used this. Last time same experience, really enjoying the lasting power, but the color and the formula is not quite my jam. Sigma blush. I wish the lasting power was just a little bit better. I mean, I still feel like I can see it, but I wish that I could see it just a little more. Again, I'm gonna keep playing with this. Only the second time I've used it, and I will be 100% with you, I didn't note the lasting power the first time I used it. So I'm gonna keep playing with it. I do think that this is a beautiful shade. I think application is beautiful. I'm just a little concerned about the lasting power. The BK Beauty Lipstick, I love this formula for comfort. I love the colors. Just be prepared to reapply it. That's all. That's really my only complaint about it. And then when it comes to the lashes, the BK Beauty Risa Lashes in Martini, I feel like just my natural lashes can't handle a half lash anymore. I mean, I think it looks fine, but there's just too much difference between my natural lash and the fake lashes that I feel like it's kind of obvious that I'm wearing fakes, which is not my favorite look, but I think a lot of people are going to love these and I they look very pretty. I just, I, I don't know if I can pull it off. I don't know. I mean, they're fine. I prefer a full strip though, but that's just me. And because I have really, really short lashes, the Kiss Lash Glue has been amazing. This is now, I think, 
the fourth time I've used the Kiss Lash Glue. Really, really enjoying this. It's been great. I forgot to mention about the eyeshadow base. Between the two eyes, because remember I put the Essence on this side and the Milani on this side, I don't see any difference as far as the lasting power between the two eyes. So it seems like it's going to be good, but I want to keep playing with it before I give you a full recommend. And then I forgot to mention the eyeliner as well from ColourPop. I meant to mention that right after the, uh, the eyeshadow palette. I can still see the liner. It still looks really good. Even my little tiny wing is still there. So yes, on the ColourPop eyeliner. And at this point, my friend, it is your turn in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. Like I mentioned a million times, I haven't used these products a ton. So if you have more experience with any of these products, please leave your thoughts down in the comments down below so we can all learn from you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Again, uh, information is down in the description box on how to enter. It's, it's very, very, I try to make it very low maintenance. If you are not ready to go, oh, I would love to continue to have you here watching videos. So check it out over here. YouTube should be recommending a couple videos for you right over here, including one I picked out for you on the bottom. YouTube's going to pick the top one for you. But if you do need to go because you got stuff to do, you're busy, I get it. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. And mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.